Hello, today I'm going to show you a Python program that will accept uh, a binary string and then convert it into denary and output the denary value. Uh, I'm going to use a sub program for this. So it will accept uh, the binary stream as a parameter and look at every digit. I mean bit and convert it into denary and output the denary value. Uh, so the technique I'm going to use is this. You can see if you have eight bits, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, each bit has a positional value, and this is two to the power zero, two to the power one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we have powers of two. So, uh, I took this question from uh, 2021 November IGCSC 8 Excel computer science paper saying that uh, they wanted the student to validate the bit string to have only 8 bits. So, I'm going to do that as well. Okay, let's get started. So, first of all, let me start with the name for the program. So the purpose of the program is to convert a binary string of 8 bits into binary value into a binary value. Okay, so the first thing is it's going to be uh, a sub program so I'm going to define a sub program def binary to binary records I'm going to have a parameter here uh, that is the bit stream I'm going to take so I'm going to call this binary right once you take it in uh, I need to multiply you know how we convert this into the array right? we take every bit and we multiply it by its positional value so positional value instead of storing the position value what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the power so there will be a variable called power and i'm going to start power with seven because the eight bit will have the power so and as I move on I'm going to reduce the power one by one okay. right then uh, ultimately I'm going to show the denary value so I'm going to have a variable called denary and assign zero to it now in this binary stream I need to access each and every bit from the left corner from the left corner to the right corner so that's why I'm, I, I took power as 7 otherwise you can even uh, start it from the right and move to the left so I'm going to start from left to right because when I'm taking this binary it is going to be an array so I'm going to access the array from the 0th element to the length of the array so for loop for that for digit in range um, 0 to 8 you know that the for loop goes only one less than the upper boundary so it will go from 0 to 7 here right even if i don't put 0 there it will anyway start with 0 all right now i need to do the calculation so what is the calculation denary equals denary plus what do we have to do i need to take the bit every bit it doesn't matter if it is zero like if it is zero anyway it will be zero if you multiply uh, i take the bit and then i have to multiply it by two to the power that power value multiply every bit 
with the 2 to the power power value okay <clears throat> so how do I access every bit I need to use the array name array name is a bin is binary and then uh, within square brackets I need to use the index now the index is stored in digit because digit is going to range from 0 to 7 okay and as you know that this is going to be a text value so I need to convert this into an integer before multiplying so I'm going to use int convert it into integer and then this will be multiplied by 2 to the power power value right so 2 to the power how do you put power uh, you use double asterisk and then instead of uh, using 7 a specific value I'm going to use power because power is set to 7 all right that will calculate uh, the positional value and add it to this total which is the denary okay now after doing the first one after multiplying the first one right when I go to the second one and calculate I need to reduce the power by one therefore I need to use power uh, minus equals one so this is same as power equals power minus one all right so the for loop once the for loop ends it will have multiplied all these uh, bits with the positional values and added them to a variable called denary right so now all i have to do is just print the value of denary so denary value is come on value of denary like that all right now in that question they wanted you to validate the number of bits to eight so let's do that so i'm now here onwards is the main program this was the sub program so in the main program i'm going to validate the bit pattern uh, first of all we'll ask the user to enter a bit pattern i'm going to call it uh, bit pattern equals input enter uh, 8 bit binary pattern to convert okay right if the length of the bit pattern is not 8 I need to edit it so I'm going to use while uh, len of bit pattern the other way while len of bit pattern is not equal to 8 I need to weld it how do you weld it I will have to ask for the bit pattern again so bit pattern equals input uh, I can say there should be 8 bits enter again all right now the validation is done it's time to call the procedure once the validation is completed it's time to call the procedure right so how do you call the procedure by its name binary pattern sorry binary to binary and we need to pass an argument what is this argument that we are passing it is the bit pattern right now this bit pattern will be passed 
into the procedure and in the procedure it will be taken by this parameter binary parameter and it will do the calculation and output the real value okay now it's time to test let's test it run it save it all right there is uh, an error input input where is it input sorry sorry about that right again okay so let's uh, try fewer uh, small bit pattern okay it uh, checks the length okay let's try one which is longer it doesn't accept let's try eight bits eight ones one two three four five six seven eight there you go 258 that's correct right okay let's test uh, let's run it again let's test test for three binary three okay, if it is binary three it should be uh zero that's one two three four five six seven eight there you go it works right so hope you understood it's so easy there may be a lot of methods this was just one method hope you learned something and if you like the video give a thumbs up and hit the bell icon and subscribe for future videos bye